Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on the look that I'm wearing right now. It is super, super versatile. It's the look that I was wearing in my Kylie Jenner lip swatch video. So I will have that link down below just so you can see how versatile this is. It will go with any lip color that you can think of. Like honestly, any lip color you can think of, this look is going to match it because the eyes are super natural neutral super neutral with a statement a bold winged liner and then the face is just like super flawless and neutral and full coverage so i have paired this look with a few lip colors and if you are interested in how i created this look then please just keep on watching so i'm gonna do my eyebrows on camera today because i'm doing them a bit differently than my brow tutorial and i'm using the anastasia i'm really close <laughs> I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Ebony and I'm just gonna brush them through first brush my hair while I'm at it <laughs> so I'm gonna draw like a line at the bottom of my brow and I just kind of like stop halfway through just because that's how I do it and then I'm going to fill the tail end in and I kind of create a thicker arch if that makes sense I just fill that in a little bit and I fill the bottom of like the end of the brow that I didn't fill in before and then I don't really I say and then a lot today, but I don't really, I didn't really fill in the front. I kind of just did a few strokes going up and that's about all I did to the front. So now I'm just going to get started on the face and I'm going to use two primers. So the first one is the Inoxa Primer Spray. I'm also looking a bit funky, huh? Is it just me? Is it just me? Something just is going on in the eyebrow department and I don't like it but we're gonna roll with it anyway. Today I'm grabbing the Josie Marin or Moran, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. This is the Argan Enlightenment Illuminator, Illuminizer. Illuminizer doesn't sound like a word. Um, it kind of like, the lid comes like that and you can spray it but I don't know why, I just like to kind of twist it off and use that. And you don't have to be too neat with this because it's going to be under the foundation so it kind of doesn't matter if it gets everywhere. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. It's just going to give us kind of like a natural glow under our foundation. For foundation I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I'm in the shade of Barcelona which I think is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. So, I'm actually just going to mix a bit of a lighter foundation on top of it. Now I'm going back in with my Radiant Creamy Concealer. And we're going to be doing a lot today. And also priming my eyelids. And the brush that I'm using to blend it all in is a Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and I'm going to set my eyelids and I'm going to bake all up in this area. Oh no, I forgot to blend out the creases on this eye. <sighs> this eye is going to be a creasy mess once we break, like once we brush all this baking off. It's just going to be disgusting. I hate putting loose powders away because it just gets freaking everywhere. <sighs> so now I'm going to be moving on to the eyes and I'm sorry I'm using single eyeshadows again, but don't worry. Um, tomorrow I'm film I'm starting my like eyeshadow palette series, so there's going to be a lot of eyeshadow palettes uh, very soon. 
But I'm going to be starting off with this colour. Actually, I don't even remember. I think it's Latte. Latte. So I'm starting off... If I can show you guys. Struggle. <laughs> um, I'm starting off with Latte from Makeup Gear. And I'm going to use, if I can find it, my Tutu... Yeah. There we go. I'm using my 228 Lux Crease brush from Zoeva. And now I'm going to go in with this shade right here, just the tiniest bit, um, which is called Mocha from Makeup Geek. Just on the same brush, and I'm putting this right in the crease. Like it's a motherfucking Sunday, and you cruising down Crenshaw in a motherfucking six foot. I'm just gonna focus it on the outer edge of the crease, and then once I've kind of placed all of the product, I'm gonna take my brush into the inner corner area. Ooh, girl. So now I'm grabbing a fresh pair of Coco lashes in the style Queen Bee, aka my favorite lashes ever. And normally I cut more off of my Queen Bees just so that they're on the outer part of my eye, but I kind of want them to be a little bit bigger today, so I'm only cutting off like the tiniest bit over here. Like, literally. Just such a tiny bit. It's not going to focus. But. And when I cut my second queen bee, to make sure that they are the same length, I just put them together like that, line them up, which mine are not lined up right now. So then you just want to line them up so the part that you cut is with the part that you don't want to cut. If that makes sense. I can do a more in-depth tutorial if you would like, and then I just snip off that excess bit at the end oh wait i don't even want to apply queen bees yet what am i doing with my life i don't know not entirely sure <sighs> what i do want to do is apply a big bold winged liner so i'm using the ColourPop creme gel color and this is in the shade swerve which is just a matte black and i'm actually going to be using two eyeliner brushes today. So the first one I'm using is an Anastasia Beverly Hills number no. 7 brush which looks like it's for the eyebrows <laughs> but it gives a really nice like sharp sharp line there because normally my lines for some reason I just have weird eyes and my favorite 317 brush from Zoeva just like doesn't do the trick so. And when you do your wing you want to like line it up with your lower lash line so it just comes straight out. You know, that way you get both sides even. probably should have zoomed in on that. I didn't even realize. My apologies. Okay, um, I'm now going to wipe away all of the cooking. Um, and this is the F37 Spotlight Dust Up from Sigma. Okay, so for the rest of the face, I'm going to powder it using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. Okay, first things first, I'm grabbing the creme gel liner from Colourpop in the shame, same shade Swerve, and I'm just going to tight line my eyes. And applying my Queen Bees. Oh wow, I totally forgot mascara. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to be applying some bronzer. This is the Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer from Too Faced. And I always use... 
There it is. <laughs> I always use a powder brush for my, well not, you know, specifically I always have to use a powder brush, but I always use this powder brush, which is from Models Prefer, and I'm just going to dip it in to the whole thing. Then, once we have our bronzer applied, we're going to go in with some contour. Why do I always say it like that? I always, like, whenever I think about contour, I go contour. But anyway, for contour today, I'm going to be using the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. On, my nose contour looks a little bit strong now. But... Once I get to like my banana powder, it's going to be fine, so just bear with me. Um, I'm just going to apply some blush first. So this is the ugh, e.l.f. blush palette, and I'm just going to be using this like a bronzy, warm shade here first of all. Now I'm just taking my banana powder. This is from Astralis, and... My highlight and contour brush from Models Prefer. And first of all, I'm going to clean up my contour. And then I just like to blend everything in together with this. And now for some highlighter, I'm going to be using my trusty old glow kit from Anastasia. And I just like to take these two colors here. into my shadows I'm just taking this one here which is Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. Ooh, that was a lot. Now to complete the eyes I'm taking Swerve Liner from Colourpop once again and then jumping back into Frappe I'm going to blend that all over my lower lash line and last but not least I'm just dipping back into Mocha. Putting that right really close to the lower lash line, to the waterline I mean. First one I'm going to apply is So Cute from Kylie Jenner. I'm just going to apply Mary Jo Cake. So this is Candy K from the, from the, it's a Kylie Jenner lip kit shade. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!